I like that one. More importantly, how are the biggest changes going to compete with us? I mean, quite seriously, you have two behemoths now in the, in the spot FX market. But really, there's one in Chicago. Their speciality is commodities. They're very good at that. Spot FX is a rounding error for them. Sure, they bought a footprint, but what are they doing with it? And then you have a stock exchange owning another FX venue with a footprint. What's happening with that? How important is it to them? I'll tell you one thing, at LMAX Group, spot exchange is very important. I have 150 people in 11 countries purely focused on spot foreign exchange. My technology is purely focused on spot foreign exchange and another little bit on the digital marketplace, but they're very similar. similar. If you like, I believe crypto and FX will trade on the, the same platform in, in years to come. So quite genuinely, I wonder how they can compete with our singular focus and also the, you know, the independence. We're the last independence, independent venue out there. So if you want to do a deal with LMAX Group, you've got open access to me, as you can see here, ask Mercer anything. And then, sorry, the, the one bit I was missing was probably on the, the last look or other EC, uh, ECNs out there. Frankly, I, I think they're struggling. I mean, I, I don't quite know what their business model is. They have a business model for 2019, perhaps for 2020. What is their business model for 2025? So the size of the exchange groups don't scare me. In fact, I think they should be worried about their lack of focus on the core product that I'm talking about, which is FX. I'm pretty sure that uh, LMAX Group is here to stay and will be the preeminent uh, spot FX venue in the years to come.